President Donald Trump claims full credit for the strong economy and stock market. In his telling, everything was set to tank when he moved into the White House and took over from President Barack Obama. Assessing that argument requires giving Trump's current economy a sort of report card as well as comparing what he's done with what Obama did. Let's get started. Trump's argument. When I took over this economy, this economy was ready to crash, he said on Fox News in October. We were at 1% GDP. Now we're at 4.2%. It was ready to crash. It was the worst. If you look from depression from the Great Depression, it was the worst recovery in the history of our country. Trump deflates Obama's numbers here. The gross domestic product grew at an annualized rate of 2. 6% in the fourth quarter of 2018 and at 2.9% for the year. It did achieve a 4.2% growth rate for a single quarter earlier in 2018. But growth was 1.8% in the fourth quarter of Obama's last year in office and 1.6% over his last year in office, not the 1% Trump said. We've probably had the greatest first two years of any president in our history in terms of what we've accomplished with employment, with GDP, with everything, he told Laura Ingraham on Fox News in February. More recently, at a convention for Republican activists, he said that if Hillary Clinton had won the presidential election, the stock market would be down 50 percent, and he inflated how much it's up on his own watch. Instead of being up almost 50% with the stock market, you would have been down 50%, he said. The market is actually up about 23% since he became president. But despite some warning signs like surprisingly few jobs created last month, it's clear that Trump will argue Obama was doing it wrong, he's doing it right, and he turned it all around. Who gets credit? The story of the current U.S. economy is actually the Obama-Trump economic boom, according to Alan Blinder, an economist at Princeton and former vice chairman of the Federal Reserve. He noted that the current economic expansion, at 116 months, is among the longest in history, second only to Bill Clinton's 120-month expansion, 